But verse number seven makes a point of that, 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 that Jesus would never quit. He would not fail, nor he would, be, would, would he be discouraged. From the very point that he was birthed, he was, he was chased. He was, you know, think about those that hated him. Think about his faithless disciples. You know, I would have quit just because his, his disciples, the, guy, the guys that most are behind you are the ones running away. The ones who you need to really back you up are the ones who are asking, asking faithless questions all the time. And Jesus smacks himself in his head over and over in the scriptures. Oh, you have little faith. But he didn't quit. Scripture says that he set his face like a flint and determinedly went to Jerusalem and finished his father's work. Now, how? look at verse number three. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he is set in judgment in the earth. And let me just say this. He's not done. He's not done making this earth right. He is not done avenging your injustices. He is not taking, he's not done, but he is not going to stop. And he will be successful with those things of changing, tr changing all this world to truth and dealing with all your matters. Please understand, Jesus will not be discouraged. When I thought, when connected verse number three to verse number four about the bruised reed and people, no doubt, that are hurting in this congregation tonight, and the fact of verse number four, the promise that Jesus would not fail nor be discouraged. He will finish his work. He will finish what needs to be done on this earth. I, I wanted to encourage you here tonight, the bruised reeds and the smoldering, you know, flax here tonight that feel like, you know, something uh, that you may never be on fire with joy for the Lord again. Listen to me. He won't stop. He, Jesus, will never quit. And you need to make sure that you don't quit either. You need to be like Jesus Christ on this account. He's not going to give up on you. Don't you give up on him. Get back on the horse or whatever. Get back serving the Lord with all your heart. Stop whining under the victim mentality. Jesus Christ came to deliver. I want to point one more thing out. It's verse number eight. I am the Lord. That is my name and my glory will I not give to another. It is directly off the backs of verse one through seven, off the back of verse one through seven, where he talks about all this great thing about Jesus Christ. And I'll remind you that all the angels of, of, the, of, of heaven worshiped Jesus Christ. I'll remind you that God intends to raise him to Cam King's Lord of Lords. What am I saying? I'm saying, verse number seven, he's not going to share his glory with another but he makes everybody worship Jesus because Jesus is God. He's God come to earth. Jehovah doesn't share his glory with another when he shares it with Jesus. He shares it with himself. Tonight are you the bruised reed? Christmas, Jesus came to light you on fire again. Would you bow your heads tonight?